Sometimes accidents happen. A team of investigators from the Kenya Air Force and the Aircraft Accident and Incident Investigation Department of the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority are currently camped in Sinda area in Elgeo Marakwet to officially investigate the helicopter crash that killed Kenya's highest ranking military officer, General Francis Sogola. Sometimes accidents happen. When such accidents happen, obviously they are often many questions and speculations. Nine other members of the Kenya Defense Forces were also killed in the helicopter crash. General Gola had departed Nairobi to visit troops in the North Rift region and was returning back to Nairobi when the incident happened. As crash site investigators are working to piece together how the helicopter crashed, we take a look at the inside details about the American-made Huey helicopter. General Gola died when a Huey helicopter belonging to the Kenya Air Force crashed and this is the third time that a Huey helicopter has crashed in Kenya. What really happened during the incident? Is the Huey helicopter safe? The first Huey accident in Kenya happened in 2019 when a Kenya Air Force helicopter was written off after having a hard landing while the second one happened in Lamu just in 2023 when a Huey helicopter crashed and killed eight soldiers. The Bell UH-1H Iroquois otherwise nicknamed as the Huey, is a utility military helicopter designed and produced by the American Aerospace Company Bell Helicopters. The Bell UH-1H Huey-2 helicopter made in the US is among eight helicopters that Kenya received from the American government in 2016. I can state without equivocation that these Huey helicopters will play a significant role in the complex operations undertaken by our forces. The Bell UH-1H Huey-2 helicopters were handed over to the Kenya Air Force at Laikipia Air Base in a ceremony that was attended by General Gola, who at that time served as the Kenya Air Force commander. Bell Helicopters was awarded a contract to produce five Huey-2s for the Kenya Air Force, but the number was increased to around eight and the helicopters were supplied to Kenya. The Bell UH-1H helicopters were refurbished to become the Huey-2 standard and supplied to the Kenya Air Force. What really are the specifications of this helicopter that is referred in the military circles as a workhorse? The Bell UH-1H Huey-2 helicopter is a multi-mission medium lift helicopter that can be configured to a variety of missions including troop transport, cargo, search and rescue, special operations, disaster response, and firefighting. The UH-1H Huey-2, like the one that crashed, is a modernized helicopter that is used by a number of armed forces worldwide. Militaries in the world that use the chopper include the US Air Force, Brazilian Civil Police, the Yemeni Air Force, the Philippine Air Force, Lebanon Air Force, Colombian Air Force, Kazakhstan Armed Forces, and the Ugandan Air Force. The helicopter is popular because it offers lower direct maintenance costs and has a great mission flexibility. Though it is relatively an old generation helicopter, it is equipped with new features such as increased horsepower, crashworthy seats, a multifunctional interior, new wiring, plus a digital cockpit. The helicopter has a two-blade semi-rigid main rotor and a two-blade tail rotor. It is also equipped with a new skid landing type gear to help it land in any location. The Huey-2 is powered by a turbo shift engine which generates a takeoff power of 1342 kilowatts. The helicopter has a maximum cruise speed of around 196 kilometers per hour and can cover a range of 455 kilometers and it can stay in the air for up to 156 minutes. It has an empty weight of around 2552 kilograms and a cargo hook capacity of 2268 kilograms and can carry a useful load of around 2210 kilograms. The Huey-2 is operated by one or two pilots 
payloads and can accommodate up to 14 personnel on board. The one that killed the CDF was carrying 11 people at the time of the crash. The helicopter comes with several protection features and offers improved safety such as having crash resistant fuel cells, wire strike protection system, however this was not enough to protect the officers. The original Huey helicopter was first designed and flown in 1956 and made a name during the Vietnam War. In the most recent incident, it is said the helicopter crashed shortly after takeoff, burst into flames, killing Kenya's chief of Kenya Defense Forces. Questions have arisen after KDF's Kenya Air Force, which is the largest and arguably the most professional air arm in East Africa, had one of its finest officers perish in an air accident. By virtue of being the highest ranking military officer, any aircraft carrying the CDF undergoes the same pre-flight protocol checks, just like the aircraft carrying the head of state. The pre-flight checklist is a set of actions that pilots and air crew should complete before any takeoff. Preliminary details of eyewitness reports indicate the crash happened shortly after the helicopter took off from the ground. It is said the helicopter reached a relatively low altitude before plunging to the ground and catching fire. Eyewitnesses report that most of the people on board could have survived the impact were it not for the fire. It is assumed they were all wearing the five-point safety harness or in layman terms a safety belt which is quite difficult to engage after the impact. Two people survived the crash. A team of investigators has been dispatched and is currently at the site of crash in Elgeo Maraquet to determine the cause of the accident. The safety of the Huey helicopters has been a matter of discussion after at least eight Kenya Defense Forces personnel died in a similar crash in Lamu County in 2023. As is procedure, the wreckage and the aircraft debris will be moved to a secure location for further examination and investigations. For Saudi TV, my name is Kevin Sabun.